So, does going blonde actually change our color season? This is an age-old question that can cause a lot of confusion for people who are looking to make this bold change in hair color. So make sure to stick around for today's video because we are going to talk all about how changing your hair color can also change your color season and affect which colors best flatter you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you happen to be new. If you don't already know me, I'm Isabella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome here to my channel, Concept 3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. So today, in response to the many questions I've received about hair color changing and color season changing as a result, we will talk all about how going blonde can actually affect your color season and the colors that you are currently wearing. So if you have recently changed your hair color or if you are looking to, then this is a perfect video for you. So this being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you're already familiar with the world of color analysis and you know your color season, you know that your specific characteristics such as your eye color, hair color, and your undertone are going to help determine which category that you belong to and also help determine your best palette of colors. But the question is here, how does your color season change if you decide to dye your hair blonde? Well, to answer this question, let's go ahead and get started with the first color season category, which is autumn. So if you belong to the autumn category, you are going to have features that are very warm, rich, and earthy in tone and coloring. Some notable celebrities who belong to the autumn category include... Nicole Richie, Lindsay Lohan, and Aubrey Plaza. When looking at autumn features, your hair color can be blonde, red, brown, or even black. Your eye color can range from blue to green to brown and even hazel, and your skin tone has a variety of shades, always with a warm or warm neutral undertone. So here we have Lindsay Lohan, who is a true autumn color season, and she naturally has red hair. So basically, when she dyes her hair, we can see that it completely transforms her look. The shade that she has here of blonde is not really flattering because it is more of a cool tone. And if you are going blonde as a warmer color season, you always need to make sure to choose richer and more warm shades of blonde. So some great shades for the autumn color season include medium gold blonde and light golden blonde. Make sure to avoid anything that is cool or ashy in nature, as this will clash with your naturally warm features. So as an autumn, it's very probable that you can naturally be blonde, but if you happen to be a redhead or have brown or black hair, when going blonde, make sure to keep in mind that this is actually going to decrease your contrast and make your features blend in a little bit better with one another. By decreasing the contrast between your features, your autumn colors are going to look more intense on you so you can tone them down through styling and also the way you pair colors together. And here again, as an example, we can see Lindsay Lohan wearing this sort of burnt orange deep autumn color. And when her hair is red, she looks a lot more glowy, she looks very healthy, and it's just a lot more flattering. And then when we put the blonde on her, it looks a bit overwhelming because her skin is very light, her hair is very light, and the color becomes a bit too intense. So overall, if you're in autumn and you are going blonde, just keep in mind that a lot of the deeper, more intense colors that you're used to wearing might look a lot more bold and intense on you. So just make sure to style accordingly and mix and match and try and use a little bit of styling to keep the look very harmonious with your features. So moving on to the next season, we have winter and people in this category have very cool features and a very sort of deep and icy, mysterious look about them. Some major celebrities who belong to this category include Megan Fox, Kendall Jenner, and Anne Hathaway. When it comes to winter features, most of the time they are going to have hair that is on the darker side, ranging from a medium brown to dark brown to even a jet black. 
Their eye color can be blue, green, brown, or even black. And their skin color can range from fair to dark with either cool or cool neutral undertones. So essentially, as a winter, you are never going to have naturally blonde hair. It's always going to either be brown or black. So consequently, when you're dyeing your hair blonde, it's going to be a very huge difference and it's going to decrease your contrast, making the very bold and bright winter colors a lot more overwhelming on your frame. So looking at Megan Fox here as an example, when wearing this really bold red dress, it's very flattering on her and it's very harmonious with her hair color along with her features. However, in the right picture, she has dyed her hair platinum blonde, so she has to go for a more toned down look and she's rocking a beige coat along with more neutral colors. So this being said, when you are going blonde, always make sure to choose cool and more ashy shades of blonde, such as platinum blonde and ash blonde. This will guarantee that the coolness in your features is also mirrored in your new blonde hair color. Avoid at all costs any blondes that are very warm and caramel in nature because this is going to clash with your cooler features. So when looking at this picture again, you can see here when Megan Fox has platinum blonde hair, the same red dress that was very harmonious and looked amazing on her is very intense for her with this hair color. The dress just pops out a lot more and you're not really able to focus on any one aspect of her overall look. So if you're a winter going blonde, make sure to keep in mind these tips and just pay extra attention and care when styling your outfits. So I want to take a moment and ask you guys for a huge favor. If you are enjoying this video so far and you're learning a lot about, you know, dyeing your hair blonde, make sure to go ahead and click that like button so that it can reach other people and help them as well. All right, that's all I wanted to say. We can go ahead and get back into the video. And now we're going to move on to the spring color season, which is actually my color season. And people who are under this category tend to have warmer features in their hair color, eye color, and skin color. And they are also going to look amazing in beautiful, bright, vibrant, springy colors. Some major celebrities who belong to this category include Zoe Saldana, Leslie Mann, and Taylor Swift. The possible hair colors you can have include blonde, red, brown, or even dark brown. Your eye color can be blue, green, or even brown. And your skin color can range from fair to medium shades, always with a warm or warm neutral undertone. When choosing your best shades of blonde, I would always go for warmer and more golden tones such as golden blonde or even strawberry blonde. And I would avoid at all costs any cool or ashy shades of blonde because these are going to clash with your naturally warm and vibrant spring features. So if you're part of the spring color season, it's very possible that you are a natural blonde, but if you are not and you happen to be a redhead, a brunette, or have dark brown hair, then when you are changing your hair color to blonde, you are going to decrease your contrast and this is really going to affect how you can wear your vibrant, bright spring colors. So here we have Emma Stone, who belongs to the bright spring color season category. I think she's actually a natural brunette, but a lot of us know her by having red hair. So when she changes her hair color to blonde, you can see how it drastically decreases the contrast between her features, making her more likely to wear lighter and more delicate colors. When Emma went blonde, since her contrast decreased, it made brighter and more vibrant spring shades even more intense on her. As you can see here with this sort of bright spring pink versus this bright spring green. So overall, as a rule of thumb, if you are a spring and you're going blonde, just make sure to choose warmer shades that are flattering for your features and adjust your wardrobe accordingly so that so these super vibrant colors will look very harmonious on you. So a lot of you here, I see you watching my videos, you're liking, you're commenting, but there's one huge problem. You're not yet subscribed to my channel. So I want to take a moment and ask you guys to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then click the notification bell so that way every time I post you are notified and you don't miss out on a single thing. 
All right, that's all I wanted to say. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. And lastly, moving on to the summer color season. And this is a season that is going to have a higher concentration of blondes than any other color season. And their features are going to be a lot cooler and more ashy and also more muted in nature. Some well-known celebrities who are part of the summer color season include Bella Hadid, Emily Blunt, and Margot Robbie. So like I said before, their features are going to be more muted and more cool in nature. Their hair color can range from blonde to dark brown. Their eyes can be blue, gray, or even an ash brown. And their skin color can range from fair to a medium color. So this being said, if you are a summer looking to go blonde, make sure to always opt for cool shades of blonde and avoid anything that is too golden or coppery as this will be way too warm for your cooler and more muted features. So you can opt for a cool ash brown or even a platinum blonde. So here we have supermodel Bella Hadid and you can see here on the right when she dyes her hair blonde, her contrast definitely decreases but also you notice that the shade of blonde is not very flattering on her because it is too warm. So it clashes with her more cool features. And here when we look at the same picture and I put the platinum blonde color on her, you can see it's a lot more flattering and it goes with her cooler and more muted features. So when going blonde as a summer, you are going to decrease your contrast and therefore you're going to be able to get away with colors that are even more muted and even more delicate and soft. As we can see here on this runway picture of Bella when she has black hair in the first picture and platinum blonde in the second picture. So in short, if you are a summer, make sure to go for cooler shades of blonde like ash blonde and platinum blonde and also make sure to try and think of softer and more delicate colors, incorporating them into your wardrobe. You know, you don't have to change everything. So finally answering the question I posed at the beginning of the video, does going blonde actually change your color season? And the answer is no. It will not change your color season, but it will definitely change how you wear your best colors. So when making this big move, make sure to keep all the tips and tricks I gave you in mind. If you would like to learn more about how to find your color season, make sure to check out my latest ebook, How to Find Your Color Season, The Ultimate Guide. I will put the link down below in the description and you can also find it on my website under the shop tab. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my next one on how to color block your outfits. It's fun, it's exciting, and you know, it's filmed in Miami, so it's a lot of beautiful things. This being said, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video. Bye.